everyone and welcome to the first a thousand ways tutorial in this video we'll be showing you guys how to create this quick and simple curtain effect here in Photoshop now if you're not happy with the effect you see here feel free to skip this video and go to the link in the description below which features a more complex technique and realistic curtain effect if you're happy with what you see here, simply create a new document by going to File, New, or Command N, and use the settings I have here. If you want, you can change them to whatever you like, and if you're printing your project, change your resolution to 300 and color mode to CMYK. Now, I do caution you guys, I've tried using this technique using CMYK, and it did not work out for me too well. I'm still trying to figure out why that is, so I suggest that you keep your color mode set to RGB. Now, I'm happy with my settings, so I'm going to click OK. Once that's done, we're going to create a new layer, and I'll do that by simply clicking this icon here at the bottom of my window, or you can use the keyboard shortcut of Command-Shift-N for the Mac, or Control-Shift-N for the PC. Once you have your new layer created, you want to be sure your foreground color and your background colors are set to black and white. As you can see, mines are not, so I can simply click this two-square icon here, or press the letter D to bring up our default colors. If for whatever reason white is your foreground color and black is your background color, simply select these, this two arrow icon here to switch them or press the letter X which does the same thing. Now I want to bring up my gradient tool and be sure that your gradient is set to linear and the mode set to difference. Once you have that done, bring your cursor to the left side of your document and start creating short horizontal strokes across it. You don't have to be perfect because we know curtain ruffles tend to be all different shapes and sizes and it's sometimes slanted. But if for whatever reason you want to be a perfectionist, simply hold the shift button as you go across your page. But for the sake of realism for this project, I'm not going to do that and I'll just let my hand do whatever it wants. So now that we have what looks to be a curtain, let's add some color to it. To do so, we'll bring up our blending options by clicking this FX icon here and then clicking Color Overlay. We want to bring up our color picker, so I'm going to select this gray box here. And since most theater curtains tend to be red, I'm going to scroll up to red and select somewhere here in the middle. Now I'm happy with that red color, so I'm going to click OK. Now we want to see our curtain effect, so to do so we'll change our blend mode to multiply, and as you can see the red color has been applied to our effect. Now I'm happy with what I see here, so I'm going to select OK. Now in a few quick and simple steps, you have what looks to appear to be a theater curtain. Like I said before, if this is not the effect you want, feel free to go down to the link in the description below which features a more complex technique, but a more realistic theater curtain. 